Hello everyone, this is Eric Long, your general manager. I just wanted to give you an update from the survey results that were conducted June 25th through July 8th. And what was the purpose of the survey? The survey was intended to provide information to the staff on member activity through 2020 and 2021 season uh, with regards to COVID-19 restrictions and access to the facilities. As you've known, uh, the pandemic has really altered the way we go about our daily routines and significantly impacted our social and sporting programs. So we really wanted to get a good gauge of where we felt at this point in time and uh, make recommendations for the future. So what happens next? Uh, we'll have a second survey in the fall. Uh, this will be um, as the pandemic evolves and we'll look at the future and if there's need for any uh, possible adjustments. I also want to thank everyone that would uh, participated in the survey. We had about 818 responses. Uh, this really is helpful in us in how we uh, monitor and promote the upcoming season and our social activities. And what we understand at this time, obviously right now, uh, this survey is a snapshot of how you currently may feel, but honestly, uh, this is now a week or two of, since you filled out the survey. So obviously things have progressed uh, with the pandemic. So we're going to uh, take that into consideration. And obviously with the next survey, we'll have more of a focus approach and uh, you'll see some more results. So we had a question in the survey where we asked you, when were you gonna return in the fall? Uh, obviously some of you are still staying within Pelican Sound. So about 43% of you uh, are planning to return in October. There's about 36% uh, that are either still currently uh, in Pelican Sound or unsure of their return. Um, so this is a good indication to us of where we stand. Obviously we're gonna ask uh, this question again uh, in the fall so we can kind of gauge uh, where uh, our membership will be uh, in the upcoming uh, fall season. Uh, with regards to food and beverage, uh, we had uh, a series of questions and we'll go over some of the highlights here. Uh, we asked, uh, did you prefer dining inside or outside? Uh, for the most part, uh, most folks are, are looking for outside dining, but there are still a considerable amount that uh, will go inside or out. Uh, so we can take that in consideration for the fall season and we'll make adjustments as needed. In the survey, we asked you uh, the table side you like for your dining experience. Uh, most of you are feeling more comfortable with uh, smaller table sizes, so we'll take that into the account for the future. Um, there was some comments that some would just like a two top as well, so we understand uh, the needs and uh, we appreciate your feedback on this. So meals at the club, the two tap category show the majority of the members will enjoy more than 25% of their meals away from home and at the club. So we asked you the question on uh, satisfaction on curbside takeout. This is something that we introduced this season based off of uh, the current restrictions that have had. And uh, overall, we had great responses and uh, we re really appreciate everybody's feedback. Overall, the score is around 4.32% if you look uh, after uh, looking at satisfaction and menu selection and meeting expectations. So we thank you very much for your comments and we appreciate it. So we asked you the question on curbside pickup for the fall and the winter and uh, it's overwhelming responses that uh, there will be usage for this. So obviously we'll have that available and it seems like we'll, we'll continue this on for, for as long as we need to. Um, it's a great thing to do and uh, we appreciate everybody utilizing this service. We had a series of questions on golf and golf related items. Various questions were related to shotgun events, uh, versus tea times, also utilizing possibly a mobile app where you can uh, place your, your scores on an app for an event, and also a question on single riding and if you're in favor of a partition between a golf cart. So we had uh, a really good feedback on this. We do see that most of you are in favor of more of a tea time approach to any event. Also, uh, we did have for the 4th of July utilizing a Golf Genius and that worked out quite well. So that's something that we're gonna look at. 
And most of you are preferring single ride uh, golf cart usage in the future. So we have that under consideration for the future. Thank you very much. So on our fitness, uh, the results, uh, we showed some mixed feelings in regards to comfort level with uh, entering into the fitness center and attending classes. Um, and we also recognize that and for the future, we're looking at uh, possibilities of need for any outdoor classes or virtual classes for the future. So this is something we'll be uh, looking at closely. And then in our next survey, we'll ask uh, some more focused questions on this. So we had a question in there, will you be as active um, in the following programs as you have in the past? Uh, we understand golf and dining are uh, the, at the highest level, but uh, we understand this is also a snapshot of where you may be at this point in time, and it may change as things progress. And we take that in consideration. We understand though that the card and card games, it doesn't seem like that's something that folks are looking at. And we understand with the sound learnings, uh, it looks like some of you are more interested in some type of virtual classes for the future. So we take that in consideration and we'll have some more focused questions in the survey uh, in the fall. And I want to thank you again for taking the time to fill out the survey. This was very helpful for the team. We, we obviously are going to look at every uh, measure that we need to moving forward uh, with regards to safety across all of our operations and our programming. I also want to thank you for your feedback. We had over 800 uh, individual responses. Uh, we were able to take that back with the team and evaluate as a whole. Um, also, I just want to remind you, we will conduct another survey in the fall, most likely uh, early uh, or late September, uh, and more focused questions as things progress with the pandemic.